everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some casino. We're going to go ahead and replay this deck. This deck's a lot of fun. We get to do some crazy stuff. We're going to be drawing tons and tons of cards, going for those level up Twisted Fate. We have two new additions with the introduction of patch 1-6. I'm going to be playing Zonite Urchin. Now able to um, just you know discard a card and draw a card immediately. And then also the same thing with Sump Dredger. So I'm going to be playing these two cards. Um, I did take out Astute Academic, even though Astute Academic can get very large. You know, it can be like a, you know, a 6-2, 7-2, like that kind of stuff. Um, decided, you know, took that out to be able to find room for the Urchin. Because I think I would rather have Pool Shark still, you know, getting that draw one. Um, you know, I basically just won everything with the card draw. And so, like, these Urchins and... And some treasures are just more enablers for us. And then to find room for some treasure, that was kind of tough. I decided to take basically do some trimming. We're going to play two instead of three suit-ups, and then two pick-a-cards to get excited to be able to find room for that. The one that I regret, you know, the one that I'm the most kind of not sure about is the pick-a-card, but we do have, like, the Twisted Fate pick-a-cards as well um, for more of those. Um... That's how I found room for Sump Dredger. We'll see, we'll see. We should be drawing, you know, like we're just gonna be drawing more cards. You know, Dredger draws, Urchin draws. So we are gonna be drawing more cards. So we're gonna be going through our deck more. So maybe we don't need um, as many copies of these. You know, like we're gonna find our suit ups when we need, find our Get Excited. You know, like basically the Get Excited and the Pick a Card are both the champion spells uh, for our two champions. You know, we do kind of have more than just the two copies of them already. But let's let's give this a try. Should be pretty sweet. So let's go have some fun. We're gonna go play over in ranked, and let's see how our deck does. <clears throat> gonna go for that three-two. Does seem like we got a very three-two kind of day so far. It's like sixty percent win rate with three-two all of the time. This is probably the matchup I don't want to face the most. Frostbite mid-range is great. The deck's incredible. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be a really tough matchup for us. But we're going to try our best. Unfortunately, we got three, three mana cards. It's not great for the curve. The War Mother Control donation deck that we're going to be playing after this, uh, the person that donated for that asked for the Jinx board to go along with their deck. So that's why we're not playing the Jinx board with our Jinx deck right now. So, so we won't play the same board twice. We don't really need a jury rig and kill that thing. This would have been better if this was the one mana card, the Urchin. Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. Mm -hmm. Glory. Let's play. Alright, we'll get a slot bot in, start drawing some cards. Okay, I like that. Try to take down the 6 2. Hopefully, no Elixir of Iron.
Yeah, I, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I, I'll try to remember to make that command more specific. All the world on one arrow. I guess I still, I think I still kill Glory Seeker, not Ash. So much to play for. I'm not sure. I'm trying to see. If they go, you know, block one of these with Ash and then Brittle Steel. Maybe I'm just supposed to kill Ash. No. Bad. Elixir of Iron is great. Ooh, it's not bad. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. That's a spicy find. That is a spicy find. So I could go Twisted Fate, blue card, and then pick a card away the Jinx. The thing is, is that while while the Glory Seeker does just trade, it trades, you know, kills my Slotbot, which Slotbot is pretty awesome. The trap is set. I'm always up for a round or two. I guess we're gonna be getting a new card, so we can twist a fade away the new card too. Or the pick a card we can pick a card away the new card. Keep jinx. Victory requires a sharp blade. Nah, we're gonna get rid of jinx. I think the Sum Dredger works better with the pick a card, where if we get like something fleeting that we don't we won't really be able to play, we could play like the Sum Dredger, discard it. If we want. A winner is you. A true Felyorian welcome. So I can basically use suit up to kill their glory seeker if I do it here. Which I think that's probably pretty worthwhile. Can't leave until you win.
Come on, then. So we're about to draw, or like we drew four cards this past turn for the slot pots. Uh, yeah, I reckon he's really good. This is a tough matchup for us. That's for sure, this is a tough matchup. We're at least going to be drawing two new cards. Getting some more cards. Okay. A chill in the air. Hmm. Uh, right here, secret. This is what I do for a living. Sumpworks map, I guess. We have another Sumpworks map in here, and we're gonna keep drawing. Um, got me good. so I'd rather, I'd rather block. You know, basically, if I play the Sump Dredger, then they, you know, they attack, they Frostbite the Sump Dredger, I'm not blocking the Twisted Bait, I'm taking, like, ten. Ugh. Hmm. Still just me drawing two. All right, so if I go Dredger, I draw one, and then the Rummage can make me draw another one. So it's just me drawing two. If I go Rummage right now, we just draw two, and then we just see what's up. Um, I think it's probably better to go Dredger. Swiftly now. are big. Matchup. Huh. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, the, the problem with elusive on the dredger, I don't know, we were just gonna be taking so much damage if I would have done that. Oh no! <laughs> They're just giving us the tough matchups. This is also bad, because we draw so many cards. Um yeah, I'm supposed to keep rummage. But the problem is, is drawing a whole lot of cards is really bad against puff caps, right? And so puff caps also a big problem. I mean, the frostbite mid range is just like the best deck, um, especially against slower, against especially against slower decks like this, and just how reckoning 
and Calling Strike and all those things match up against me. Yeah, Sejuani. Yeah, I guess maybe just the Sejuani decks. Those decks are quite good. Dredger or Slotbot? Usually want to get Slotbot in in play as fast as possible. really good. <laughs> Brutal Steel and Elixir of Iron both. I just ha I have to get Puffcat Peddler Dead in their out of here. Puffcat Peddler just kills me. It's the best card in their deck against me. So I'm digging, I'm looking. So we're at two right now. This is three. Oh no. I mean, we can definitely have Twist of Fate leveled up next turn, and I guess we just go that route. Gotta trust your instincts. Plan is slot bot with elusive. Not the bow to no one. Not necessarily the best plan. Um... Let's play. Blue as the serpentine. They smart. That was the correct thing to do. I was hoping they'd have Sejuani because uh, we were going to be gold carding the Sejuani. I 
Nice. And these brittle steels and elixir of irons are just killing me. I guess I really just shouldn't have locked that slot bot, I suppose. I really wanted to kill Puffcat Peddler before. Slotbot's gonna just keep growing. Hey Cabo, welcome back. So I know that looks weird. And maybe that is just weird. My play, but Blessed by snow and stars. I was thinking that we'd get blue card, we get the extra one spell man, and we get to jury rig. My other option was of course play the Sumperks map this turn and go with that um, go with the suit up I'm glad I didn't go that route against lump up said 20 well I guess they wouldn't I guess they wouldn't have frostbitten everything yet Okay, so red card, gold card could potentially just kill both of those things. Uh, which, of course, we need to be able to play three things first. We could have, like, double Sumpark's map. These old eyes Mystic shots. Let's certainly start here. Yeah, they, they do have a champion in hand, so correct. Yeah, we, we do know because of the Entreat, so we do know they either have Battle Fury or um, Timo. Safeguard our homes.
Very possible they're looking for another, you know, like, you know, like they're just gonna let this Sejuani die and then play new Sejuani. Cool, I need to get that peddler out of here. And I just don't think I'm gonna be able to brash gambler with all these puff caps. They, they definitely want Sejuani in play. Okay, cool, so now they can't play another Sejuani. That's good for me. Um, but they can, if they go plus four, plus four, they can save it. It's also just possible. Yeah, I think the thing to do is just throw these upstairs. Oh, they have reg they have regular Fury of the North, so they still could have another one. I gotta hope I don't draw a puff cap. You know, it's... The treasure was in me the whole time. No! Four of them! Well, it makes it less likely that we draw more later. I suppose. Again. Go on, then. Watch the ball, folks. Well, yeah, I can't, I can't do anything about Sejuani freezing me. I'm trying. What's theirs is Not have Sejuani freeze me, but it's not an easy thing to do. That's a good card. Probably our best card. So the problem is I can't just go Sumpark's map on the Jinx and then just and then just immediately attack, even though Sumpark's maps is burst speed. I don't get to do that because of the gold card that Twisted Fate creates. Less thinking, more pew pewing. So you know, like if if their card is Teemo and not Sejuani, they would still be able to play like Teemo in response for a blocker if they would need a blocker. Cool. Looks like we probably have this now. They didn't play a Teemo. So that that was the problem with just going some person. So that's why I had to play the get excited first to not show what my game plan was. Looks like we're gonna beat the puff cap deck. That was a that jinx was a perfect draw this past turn. Gives me a, a threat that could kill him. Oh wow, that was clutch too. They had the brittle steel for protection. That was clutch with the level up. Well that that's a tough matchup. That's a good win. Shows the power of Sumpark's map.
Ooh, we got something. What we get? Hey, new a new kit. We're pretty close. We only need to challenge 22 more units. We're pretty close there. Nine more last breath triggers. Did we just get a new kit? What was that? Was that like our icon? What are you? I don't remember you. Oh, that was an icon. Figured it out. Keep the get excited flame chomper combo. All right, see a flame chomper. No, our chomper gonna die. Ooh, that's a good trade. I like that trade. That's a good trade. Not very good draws back to back with the two, two more four mana cards, unfortunately. Oh, come on. We are out of four mana cards. We don't have any more. Man, what a waste of mana. Maybe I'm supposed to discard the map. You call this a fight? Uh -huh. Oh, to be fair. Harry, repost pods. map's going to do some work for us. I'm always up for a round or two. Rude. I'm a people person. Perfect. A good rummage. No going back. Their hand's pretty good though. The game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Yeah, that was a really good turn for them as well. This might hurt. Mm. Really hoping for like another rummage. Level up this twist of fate. 
We were so close. So I do have another Twist of Fate in hand that we can play. Um, do like red card? I guess, what am I going to do? I'm going to get excited. Hmm. What are we doing? We're going to get excited the Katarina. I guess I could get her, get excited this protege and keep this Twisted Fate alive. I guess we could do that. Your instincts. But if I do that, then they get to attack again with Katarina. Not worth saving Twisted Fate? Oh no, we get a leveled up Twisted Fate. Where you going? Alright, we won't save Twisted Fate. We'll see how that works out. Katarina's dead. No, we're kind of out of cards. I don't know if we're drawing too much. I mean, I guess we do have the, the Gambler. We'll brashly find some more cards for us. Never lost a fair game, or played one. Blue as the Serpentine. Things are too big. Bearman too makes these things too big. I want to play this pool shark as a blocker. That means I get rid of get excited. Probably find another blocker. Mystic Shant? That's a good card too. I guess we get rid of get excited then. Ugh! Need that one more mana for that sump treasure. Come on. No. Why? Why? That is so sad. That is so sad. Yeah, they had a great, great hand. Ugh. both of those. We will block this thing and this thing. We take six. Uh, just block all these things too. I know, so close. ridiculous.
we would have been able to untap you know like if if they didn't have that single combat whenever they went to you know like we would have been able to have you know like our twist of fate would have been leveled up once we draw drew the next card and then i would have been able to do that mystic shot mystic shot jury rig with the leveled up twisted fate uh getting the gold card and and the red card you know getting red card and gold card Honestly, we would have had it. We would have had a pretty decent shot. They just didn't have. If their last card was just like whatever bland unit, would have had a decent shot. Um, should be. I think it's gonna be next month. I, they haven't announced an official date, but it. I would assume it'd be right after this uh, season ends. It's either it's either going to be like the like this season ends at the 19th, so you're looking like right then, or maybe it's the next week. They haven't like announced any official date, but it's so it'll either be the it's next month, either the week of the the 19th or the 26th, one of those two. Hooray! No, well, the, they start on Wednesdays, not Thursdays. The patches they get updated on Wednesday, and that's the nineteenth and twenty-sixth for the Wednesdays. Spin, spin, spin. You win. Kind of, I'm basically I didn't cast the the suit up before. I wanted to have the suit up save the slot bot if necessary. Which I guess maybe I should have just attacked with my four three to trade with their three three. Yeah, the it's the, um. Don't ask where it's from. The chests, your weekly chest changed from Tuesday to Thursday. They announce the ballot patch on Tuesday, then it takes into effect Wednesday, and then you get a new weekly chest on Thursday. So yeah, those those dates did all change. That's that's the new dates for all of those things. If they play Ezreal, attack with Ezreal, we can Sumpworks map and block. Ouch. All those things cost so little mana. Such, such little mana. You get 
we'll just go and play that. Still, two two of my mystic shots that together cost one mana for the two of them. So I don't have any mystic shots left in the deck. Count as an Ezreal target? I don't think it does, does it? All that glitters. No, I don't, I don't think so. Looks like trouble. It's possible they stole my suit up, and they'll just suit up their twisted fate. Cool, good. nice having one mana pick a card. That must be pretty nice. So I, I certainly need to Mystic Shot there, Twisted Fates. And then uh, what do we do with the rest of this is kind of tough. I guess I can, I mean, I guess this is matching up for me to um, pick a card, put the Brash Gambler back. And suit up my 4-2 to block Ezreal. That's what it looks like. One shot, all skill. No way. Well, that worked out pretty well. Stack in the eye. That worked out pretty well. Deal me in. Boo. They stole my twisted fate. Alright, well they got five cards. I got none. Doesn't sound the most fair. All right, we got, but now it's four and six. Um, I mean, I think I'm supposed to play Brash Gambler. And then I'm looking at either Get Excited or Jinx. Which I guess I can't play Get Excited and Brash Gambler, can I? At least, not yet. I'd have to discard Jinx and this other thing. I mean, I think I go Gambler and Jinx. Yeah, we get to level up Jinx. I think that I think that that's the plan. I don't get to do anything with card draw this turn with those. Can they call me a shark? Nobody calls you a shark. Help us out. <laughs> Lady 
look is smiling. That was pretty gross how they, they stole the two mystic shots that cost one total mana. That's the... Man, Black Market... Like, they, they just... They gave got rid of the health on Black Market Merchant and made Pilfer Goods cost less. But really, the whole, the whole problem is, and always has been, with that synergy is the Black Market Merchant making the cards cost less. They really could have just kept Pilfer Goods at two mana and Black Market Merchant as a 2-2 two -two if they just got rid of the card the card cost reduction it, that's that's the thing that makes it so crazy they spent you know like they played um you know they played like a one mana sump dredger they played a one mana pick a card and they played mystic shot two mystic shots to kill my four four for one total mana and that if they didn't that that uh um that slot bot was about to take over because it was it was going to get like plus four stats the next turn and it was elusive that I think that would have killed them but now they stole two mystic shots from me for one mana so. not sure what I'm gonna do with this mystic shot I guess I'll just keep it kind of wish I mulliganed it now this was a I guess we'll kill that thing. This is not a great... Not great cards to go along with Twisted Fate Mystic Shot. It's just another Mystic Shot, another Twisted Fate, a Sunworks map. Gambler. Yeah, I don't hate... I don't hate uh, Riptide Rex. I hate this hand. How do we... How are we drawing only four mana cards? Again. Thresh Gangplank. Those are going to be two hard, two cards that are hard to deal with, especially Thresh. Yeah, there's. You can you can kind of build anything. Um. Lou. Um. Yeah, you can kind of build anything. I don't. I don't have like a. That's the great part about this this game, is that it's there's not like a a recommendation of like if you're new go build this. This is the this is the one deck you got to build. It's whatever fits your playstyle, whatever you enjoy. You can you can play it in this game. Kind of pick, pick whatever you want. Who says I don't share? Take magic.
kind of want to see what they do first before I choose which one of my four mana cards I'm going to be playing. Even though, I guess this is worse. If I'd be going, because if I'd be going Bra Brash Gambler, then I could be, I could discard one of the fleeting cards to the Urchin. So this is worse in that respect. I'm always up for a round or two. I'll just go gold card then. Mobilitics has a really, really great stats page, which is right there that you can check out. Um, if you want to check out like some how um, decks perform. Holy partner. No, I mean, I, I would rather them have the 3-1 than the 2-1 elusive. If I go red card, they get a 2-1 elusive. If I go um, gold card, they have a 3-1. I have I have a 2-1 that can trade with a 3-1. I, I didn't have anything to trade with a 2-1 elusive. Yes, Ash, Ash Sejuani is probably the best deck. The only, the only reason why I'm saying probably is because it's forcing the metagame to, to become pretty aggressive, and um, maybe, maybe if there's just all aggro decks everywhere, it's not the best deck to play. But no, it's um, that hasn't really been the case yet. We've. Has it? Yeah, I would. I would still say that's the number one deck for sure. Live in the moment. <laughs> I don't know. I I may just miss out on the draw two fleeting. Kinda hope their play is Grasp the Undying the Jinx and I get to level up Jinx. I need more uh. lasts forever. Always have a backup plan. Me a play okay, I do want that slop on it. Definitely wanna play that slop on. Of course, the problem with playing Slotbot is we don't actually level up Jinx. That's the problem there. This is a real spin to win. I've whipped up something special. Function call. Celebrate. That makes it harder for me to get Super Mega Death Rocket, but it makes it um, for this next turn. But it does just have me draw so many more cards, and that's really good with the slot bot. That's bad. So now Thresh level up. So Thresh put Gangplank into play. Uh, that's bad.
All right, Blubsters, have a good night. I would have had Jinx block the Gangplank if we would have had that opportunity. If they would have challenged the O2. I rarely forget and never forget. But it doesn't really make much sense to block the O2 against an Overwhelm unit. Um, it'd be a pretty great turn. Steal me in. I'm getting Twisted Fate in play first before I draw cards with Brash Gambler. have this right like we just go jinx get super mega death rockets it's my first time unloading my hand this turn yeah so we make a death rocket they're at four that was pretty sweet and there we go At least got the two three. You know, we gotta stay with those three twos and two threes. Didn't want that one four. We blew them up. Yeah, good thing good thing is one mana rocket, right? Good thing they changed Super Mega Death Rocket to just be one one mana. I should have just challenged and just sacrificed my O2. To <laughs> Yeah, good thing it was still just a one mana. So, so a lot of fun to play, like always. Uh, ran into some opponents running hot. Um, I, I was definitely happy with the Urchin. Um, I could see just playing two Dredgers instead of three, but the thing about some Dredger is it's, it's a good body, right? Like, it was able to trade with other things, and it's just more cards that uh, let you just keep rifling through your deck, find Twisted Fates, level up Twisted Fate, that kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, Get Excited and Pick a Card are both good. I'm not sure if some Dredger is better than them. Could could certainly see playing three of either one, either Get Excited or Pick a Card. If you have a preference on, like, which one of these do you think should be a three of, could certainly see playing a three of of one of those instead of the Sump Dredger. I like Sump Dredger, but um, I would probably just, you know, I could definitely see playing two and then put one of those back in, whichever whichever one you want to put back in. I'm not sure which one's better. Whoops. I'll just put it like this for now. All right, but that's it here for Casino. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.